Thank you. Well, I'm very pleased to be here today, and I was also pleased to be here on the 10th of February during the Commission on Social Development to mark this day. Uh, it is a day of world social justice, which I think is very timely. And it reminds us that we haven't upheld the commitments that were made in Copenhagen um, at the time um, of um, that uh, summit. In the meantime, we've seen a world which became more divided between those who were benefiting from globalization and the many, both countries and people, within, within and um, between countries who were not benefiting from globalization. And now we have this very deep financial crisis. I've often heard the uh, world of economists um, being described as the dismal science. Recently, we've seen it as the most confused science. Economists can't explain exactly how the crisis occurred, nor do they know how deep it's going to become, when it's going to end, etc. From a human rights perspective and a labor standards perspective, what we have done is we've forgotten our values. We didn't uphold the values of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights that we marked the 60th anniversary of. So this day of social justice is an opportunity to say we, have, we, we can actually have a better, safer, more secure, and more prosperous world in a broad sense, because it will be a world where uh, everybody will have the basic human rights protected and, and promoted, rights to food and safe water, health, uh, education, shelter. And at the same time, uh, we will understand the importance of putting emphasis in our policies on decent work and the um, way in which the decent work has been elaborated by the ILO. Uh, Realising Rights, my organisation, has really uh, appreciated working with the ILO, not just in the context of, a, of, of speeches in the United Nations, but we've had a workshop together in Liberia. We've been together um, in Oslo. We, we, we're, we really want to make a practical um, sharing of experiences, as we did today in, in what I thought was a very good meeting, um, where um, we on the panel shared, but also we had a very, very significant participation from the floor, and I think a lot of appreciation about this focus. So I believe firmly that we needed this day um, for world social justice, that it's timely, that it's an opportunity to reorient our policies. And I hope that at the summit in, in London on 2nd of April, that governments will take this message very seriously.